Hey guys, welcome back to Tasty Rides. Today, I'm gonna be talking about why I am returning my Apple CarPlay wireless dongle. There's a lot of these on Amazon and other places you can find them, but basically, if you have CarPlay and it's not wireless, you can buy little kits. They connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and uh, you know, they do their job. But this is my second one that I've had. My first one was in my uh, first car, which was totaled, and that's a story for a different day. Um, but the reason I'm switching this out is because I drive an Acura TLX A-Spec. This is not it right now, but this is the loaner car that they gave because it's currently in the shop. Um, I'm just in just a, you know, build the environment. But, um, yeah, no. I've had a lot of issues with the first one I got, and I've heard that it's just a common thing. If you don't have CarPlay just built in wirelessly, it's always not going to be as great. Um, but my main issue with these dongles is that they're very expensive, um, and for how expensive they are, they don't work the best. It's a really delayed start for it to actually connect to CarPlay, which is not the greatest thing in the world. And then the visual quality of CarPlay, it's not as smooth. Um, obviously with the Acura Teal X, you don't have an actual, like, touchscreen. It's set back and you use a little pointer control. Uh, which is perfectly fine, but both with uh, the normal touchscreen car plays and this mouse pointer uh, style design, it does not work very well. It's very delayed. And then the music, any audio is very delayed. So if you're watching a video or something like you're just, I don't know, in a parking spot and you want to watch a video or something, the audio is always going to be super delayed. If you pause something, it takes a few, like five seconds for it to actually stop, which doesn't sound that great. And I imagine it's actually been impacting my calls because I've always noticed that my audio always sounds delayed. I didn't know that impacted my calls as well. Um, but yeah, no. And also it tends to bug out. It takes forever to connect. And I've tried a bunch of these. I've heard of a bunch of these. They don't really work that well. And uh, I think I'm, I'm just going to stick with having my phone plugged in every time because I don't know. I like if it's not it's on bluetooth i can just grab my phone real quick to set a playlist or something or use siri to control my music and i'm not going to use my phone really I, I don't use my phone while i'm driving you really shouldn't and i don't know i feel like these are a waste of money i feel like if you're gonna get wireless carplay just have it built into the car but then you don't have lossless audio really so the music's not gonna sound as great anyways and that's a major thing for me is that this new car that i have it has like a 17 speaker system it's els and everything i use spotify which you know isn't the best audio called and i do want to switch to title or something or get a second subscription like a student subscription to title because you can get it for cheaper if you're a college student and you know it's kind of decent price at that point but um yeah no i i'm i'm waiting to return it like right now in a few minutes i just want to make a quick video as to why i'm not gonna be using this anymore i used it for a few days practically brand new but it just didn't really work well um, I mean, it's cool. It's like a little dongle. I don't know what the USB port is for. I know it has extra features like GPS and stuff. At least certain versions of it does. And you get a you get an option for a USB-C to USB cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. Very simple box. Um, I think it does work for some people, but for me, I think I've just had a really bad experience with this and I don't recommend it, if, especially if you have a good speaker system or if you're like someone who notices delayed performance or something i'm someone who you know has custom built their own computer and tech is like my entire thing so i noticed input lag on these devices also it looks so pretty outside this camera view is not that as bad as i thought it was going to be but yeah i just want to make a little video talking about why i'm not going to be using this anymore um my car is currently in the shop i'm going to make a video about this car that i'm currently sitting in which is a loaner car um just a little walkthrough and stuff it's a nice loaner car. It's the same car. It's just a spec down. So, yeah, um, I'm waiting for my car to come back right now. Uh, and I'll talk about it. I'll make a video once I get the car back, talking about all the issues I had within a week of owning the car. It was a used car, obviously, so I might have some issues. Uh, but the issues I had, it wouldn't have mattered if I bought a brand new or used. It's just common issues on that car. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Tasty Rides. Uh, not the biggest fan of these wireless dongles. They just don't they it's 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 just not worth it it takes up the space where your uh phone would plug in normally it's just more things to go wrong don't recommend it 
anyways make sure to follow the instagram if you don't already instagram.com slash at or not slash at slash tmg tasty rides or at tmg tasty rides everything at tastymediagroup.com catch you guys in the next video whenever that is probably in like a few days i don't know i'm not really good with the supplement schedules type of thing <laughs>